Hi. Uh, let's see. Excitable, proud fantasy. Textbook case of female hysteria. We'll have her fixed in no time. Stop her! How does this resonate with you as a mom doing a movie like this that your kids could see? Uh, well, I'm not sure how much Johnny would get right now if he were to watch it. I'm not even sure he could see it at this point. But um, I'm really, uh, I always, you know, you know the Jessica Seinfeld brownie, you put the spinach in the brownie, you kind of fortify the yumminess. I'm proud to be in a film that has fortified yumminess. <laughs> were an irksome, slurvish, interrupting thing. <laughs> this story is like 153 or something, 150 something years old. Um, and it, not only does it still stand up, it still resonates, it's still, it's still surreal, it's still absurdist, it's still, I mean, um, but what it did, especially at that time, to, to, to make the lead character this young girl. One of the ones that I guess is applicable to me as an actress who was once 17 in Hollywood and is now 33 is this narrative that women somehow lose their power when they get older. I don't think that's true and I don't think you'd, if you ask any woman and any man uh, that question, I don't think they would think it was true. So why do we use language? Why do we tell stories that support that idea? We just need to stop and if we stop, then it will stop. Hold on everyone. I just want to hold on. Please. 